Hi and welcome to our lesson on the partial sums method. Here we have 27 plus 15. To use the partial sums method, first we add the tens. 20 plus 10 equals 30. Next we add the ones. 7 plus 5 equals 12. Finally, we find the total. 30 plus 12 equals 42. So 27 plus 15 equals 42. Another way we can write this is like so. We add the tens. 20 plus 10 equals 30. We add the ones. 7 plus 5 equals 12. Then we find the total. 30 plus 12 equals 42. So 27 plus 15 equals 42. Here we have 341 plus 216. Going from left to right, we first add the hundreds. 300 plus 200 equals 500. Next we add the tens. 40 plus 10 equals 50. Now we add the ones. 1 plus 6 equals 7. Finally we find the total. 500 plus 50 plus 7 equals 557. So 341 plus 216 equals 557. Finally, here we have 285 plus 153. First we add the hundreds. 200 plus 100 equals 300. Next we add the tens. 80 plus 50 equals 130. Then we add the ones. 5 plus 3 equals 8. Finally, we find the total. 300 plus 130 equals 430. Plus 8 equals 438. So 285 plus 153 equals 438. Here is a chance for you to practice. Calculate the following using the partial sums method. Pause the video and have a go. Question 1. Adding the tens, 50 plus 30 equals 80. Adding the ones, 5 plus 6 equals 11. Finding the total, 80 plus 11 equals 91. So the answer is 91. Question 2. Adding the hundreds, 200 plus 100 equals 300. Adding the tens, 30 plus 90 equals 120. Adding the ones, 1 plus 4 equals 5. Finding the total, 300 plus 120 equals 420 plus 5 equals 425. So the answer is 425. Thank you for watching. Please check out mathswithmum.com for further lessons, worksheets and more.